around the streets of Brisbane, you can still find remnants of the old classic Queensland. Yeah, but as you'd expect, most have had all sorts of alterations yeah. and additions done to them over the years. Yeah, like this gorgeous home from the 1920s, which really does fuse the very best of the old with the new. You betcha, Jo. So it's time to go back to the future. <laughs> Pete, this is so beautiful, so quaint. I know, from the original picket fence and the fretwork, it's like a fairy tale. Even the little stained glass and the door. It had all the original charm, it just wanted to be loved. Yeah, but funnily enough, by keeping all those original features, it's part of the reason why this home design got through council so easily. Spot on, all the new work is set low behind the original ridgeline, so from the street, nothing changed. So, there was nothing to object to. <laughs> This is the tale of achievable architecture, and it started from a standpoint of where can we save money, <laughs> which meant what can we salvage, what can we keep? Well, I can tell you right now, it's these two front rooms. If you start to reconfigure or change rooms like these in a home as old as this, the cost can almost blow out to the same as a new build. So instead of a lick of paint, new carpet, two front rooms, done. <laughs> from the old archway to the new right angles, and that's where the new story begins. So interestingly, Pete, we actually step up into the new edition. Yeah, look, Joe, like so many sites in Australia, this had some difficult level changes yeah. to do with the time with the outdoors. We call that getting the section right, all the levels working together. It's not just about the floor plan, but getting those vertical rooms to work together. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, we haven't walked into a new part of the home that has soaring 12-foot ceilings. In fact, there's lots of really subtle ceiling height changes, and yet, in this space, it actually feels incredibly serene and huge. I think it creates a sense of intimacy with yeah. the ceiling, with this otherwise big open floor plan, this big open family space. Now, if you're going to spend any money, do it on the windows and doors. That you can't compromise on. A case in point here, this big, beautiful bank of casement windows, which in conjunction with this day bed is a real homage back to the old Queenslander. Now, they're set at an angle to pick up the summer breeze, but you can shut them up to screen out the neighbours here on the top floor. It's a theme continued in the downstairs rumpus and master bedroom. Look at this generous size island bench with antique Tuscan marble on the top, just slightly offset with the brass. I love that detail. Of course, that's replicated in all of the handles and the tap finishes. But the most amazing thing about this kitchen is behind me, there's not a bank of cupboards or shelves. In fact, that is all down here in the business end along with the fridge. <laughs> And it's down here we find the addition of two new bedrooms, five in total, including the master bedroom with its ensuite. But it's also down here we find one of the real key features of the entire design. thought it would be an olive tree, but Pete, that tree becomes such a focal point and links those two levels together. It also acts as a second light well yeah. between the floors, celebrated also from this beautiful modern outdoor area. Yeah, I mean, if you want to enjoy subtropical living, this is the way to do it. Yeah, a contemporary take on the old Queenslander <laughs> veranda, and it's one of the most economical parts of the entire build, but one of the most used by the family. But Joe's from here, you also get a great perspective on this yard. She's all that I want. Now, Joe, we mentioned the site was stepping, but it's also sloping. But instead of fighting the site, they've worked with it, which has created this outdoor pool area in the upper level as it steps down, almost like an outdoor mezzanine area. Nice. Like 
it, right at the start, the owners said that they wanted to have a big green lawn for their golden retriever, Alfie. They've somehow managed to fit that and a mini basketball court all on this side. Yeah, they haven't spent mega bucks trying to level everything out. No, just the parts they need. Correct. But from this angle, Jay, you get that beautiful dovetailing between the old and the new. This is economical architecture. Subtle simplicity in the Sunshine State. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs>